Russell Pope again with you here today representing the Home Ventilating Institute continuing the discussion on zones. The first question that you're going to wonder when you talk about zones are what in the world is a zone in the first place? A, a zone is a, a sound measure that's utilized to represent sound power. Uh, the best ratio or the best scenario that I can compare that uh, give you a, a value is a quiet refrigerator. A quiet refrigerator in a quiet room is equivalent to approximately one zone. So if you're to take your bathroom fan that's rated as one zone or less, then it's going to be less than a quiet refrigerator in a quiet room. Uh, bathroom and utility fans, you're going to see a rating point of 0.1 inches of static pressure. Again, because as we talked about with the CFM ratings, 0.1 inches of static pressure is the common rating point that you're going to see uh, because of installations. Kitchen and range hoods are rated at working speed uh, to give you an idea of what the sound is going to be under the most utilized exhaust rate. Exterior mounted and inline fans are a little bit different. We don't certify any kind of rating points because of the differences with installations. You may have a duct run that is 15 feet. You may have one that's 200 feet. Where the fan is in that duct run is going to make a big difference with the installed sound. It is generally accepted, that, however, that if you have a bathroom fan or a inline fan for an, a utility room or even kitchen exhaust, that that fan, as installed, is going to be quiet enough that it is not. Uh, there's no burden on the occupants. That there's not a. The sound level is acceptable as installed. Uh, again, the things that we talked about today were zones and CFM. Uh, later discussions we'll have. We'll talk to you about CFM per watt or other types of applications that you may need more information on. Thank you very much.